Hello, 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 and hello -ha. Today I'm doing a review of the 1990 Chow 1 Peso. It is a Chow coin. South America coins, pretty much. It's made from 1981 to 1992. And the metal is aluminum bronze, weights 2 grams, diameter 17. <coughs> Millimeter thickness 1.4 and the obverse is a portrait of Bernardo O'Higgins to the right Get a good look Lettering portrait of D. Bernardo O'Higgins 1778 to 1842 and a lot of Spanish, I don't know how to pronounce. I don't know why they're talking in Spanish lettering. Spanish accent. Let me excuse me. I'm going to see if I can translate it. Give me a second. No, no, no. Nope, I can't translate it. It's pretty too foreign. But uh, for this year, they made 140 billion. No, nah, probably 140 million, as I could say. I would want to say. <clears throat> In the reverse is um, value with lard wealth. And for this word, I would say, um, read Proverbs 17, 17, a friend loves at all times. And here's a chapter that touched me today. <clears throat> Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children and... Thy desire shall be to thry to thy, to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And that was um, Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. And that means even though the woman had been deceiving unto eating the forbidden fruit, she was still held accountable for her act. <coughs> Gotta clear my throat. Nobility, however, the word curses is not contained in God's words to her. Two penalties were imposed, both struck at the heart of a woman's roles in life. More than would more than would have been the case had sin not entered creation. Bearing children would add to the sum of sorrow in the universe. God said he would multiply not originate woman's labor pains. Marriage would also be marred through the woman's desire would be for her husband's sin would mar God's plan, plan for marriage and create tormenting equanity and subjun, subjugation sub the latter is a description of the raving, ray, ray, ravaging effect of sin on the husband-wife relationship, not a prescription for abusing one's wife. The NT teaches that marriage would reflect the relationship of Christ with the church and be characterized by the husband's understanding and respect for his wife. <clears throat> and I read that uh, verse today because I remember a uh, little uh, blast from the past in high school. We kind of talked about something on that. My English teacher gave a little lecture on that, like something a little bit out of Bible in Bible school, so I thought I'd share that today for a verse and I would say thanks for watching this 
little information of what I have so far. This is Lakeview John signing out. Out.